in these moments. These beautiful moments of the night. So quiet. And it becomes even more beautiful when we are in the presence of our Lord. The presence of the Lord transforms everything into a heavenly atmosphere. We remember after the resurrection of the Lord when they saw the risen Lord they were joyful. They were happy to see the risen Lord. The presence of the Lord changes everything. Let us surrender our heart, mind and soul unto the Lord. And we pray, O oh Lord, take complete control of our life. Let everything in my life experience your presence. As your presence changed the life of Zacchaeus, changed the life of Nicodemus, changed the lives of apostles, Change life of Saul into Paul. Change this life of the Samaritan woman. The woman caught in adultery and the people who came to stone her. Your life, your presence that changed even the thief with you on the cross. Lord, we pray that the same presence as the word of God reminds us Jesus Christ to the same yesterday, today and forever. Letter to the Hebrews chapter 8 verses 13. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever. O oh Lord Jesus, ever living Lord, let your presence touch every area of my life. We invite the Lord. We invite the presence of the Lord into our family, into our workplace, it's all that we can think of at this moment. Lord, transform, change us and make us yours. At the end of this day, in the presence of the Lord, what do we carry in our heart is just thanksgiving. Because everything that has happened to us today, we believe it's according to His will. 
And whatever happens at our end, we do thank the Lord. Saint Paul, even when he has gone through all his sufferings and pains, all those moments when he faced death, persecution, he would write to the Thessalonians in his first letter. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. At the end of this day, let us offer our heart full of thanksgiving unto the Lord. It is true that we human beings may have moments of complaint, moments of failure, in our praise, holiness. But still, this moment, we thank the Lord. We worship the Lord, offering our heart. Spend a few moments in silence. If you can recollect the moments of blessing, the moments when you felt the hand of the Lord with you this day, remembering your family members, thank the Lord. Worship the Almighty Triune God present in this Eucharist.
when we read Psalms 103, we see the psalmist saying, every moment of our life is a blessing. We have many, many, many reasons to thank the Lord. Every moment that is added to our life is a blessing. So the psalmist writes, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. With all the angels and saints, the whole court of heaven, all the created beings on the earth, known and unknown. We worship the Lord together. We adore the Lord together, singing this song. You all join that beautiful hymn. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Worship His holy name. His blessings upon us. So I worship your holy name, O Lord. It is there in worship that I find my peace. rich in mercy. There is slow to anger, but your name is great and your heart is kind. Worship 
As we pour out our heart to the Lord in thanksgiving for all the blessings that we have received this day, for everything that has happened to us this day, let's also offer our prayers for the whole world. We pray for the Lord's mercy upon the world. As Jesus says, the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 11, verses 24, pray with faith. Pray with such a faith that whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Let us offer our prayers for the whole world with that faith that our prayers are being answered. Especially this difficult time all over the world. When people desperately trying to save themselves Let us offer our praise for the whole world.
the social impact of this coronavirus. Not able to socialize with people. Not able to go around, see family members, friends, beloved ones. That warmth of relationship in proximity is getting limited. financial impact of it, straining down even to each one in our family, loss of job to thousands of people, a decrease in the resources to the families. the political impacts the ecclesiastical side of it the church affected not able to physically receive sacraments The emotional side of it and people who need extra care because of the mental, physical challenges they face. The elders, especially those who are alone. Lord, we pray your mercy upon the whole world. Praying for Lord's mercy and protection upon the whole world. We pray Psalm 91 for the whole world. The assurance of God's protection. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snares of the fowler, and from the deadly pestilence, he will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that weighs at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you. No scourge come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. 
I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Amen. As we come to the close of these moments of worship and adoration, let us prepare ourselves for the benediction and blessing. If you are able to kneel down at this time, please kneel down in worship of our Lord in these moments of benediction. And we sing together down in adoration falling. Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. So